What's up, everybody? My name is Spiro, and this is Rational Rage. I hope everyone is doing okay, staying safe, not consuming disinfectants of any kind. Um, do we really need to talk about how stupid people are? Um, unfortunately, we do. But before we even give that announce of importance, I want to thank everyone who has been supporting me in the channel so far. Um, if you're a new listener, thank you for tuning in. And if you enjoy what you're hearing, like and share at will. Uh, subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'm also on Podbean. And um, if anybody wants to share any thoughts, opinions, um, and they want to ask me any questions, the email is rationalrage.mailbag at gmail.com. Um, I've been getting a lot of good feedback. Um, you know, some people are, are telling me that maybe I should try to go longer. We'll see if if more people think I should. I'll do that. But right now, my objective is to say what I have to say in as few words as possible. Be in and out, you know. Uh, let's see, you know. Maybe I'll uh, change it up. I definitely have a few guests on deck who want to come on. This week I may drop more than, than one episode, but we shall see. Anyways, people are losing their shit, as they always do, alright? As usual, the out-of-touch hypocrites in Hollywood, they went on the usual Twitter frenzy. Uh, everyone from fucking you know, Chris Evans to Mark Hamill, and of course the one who, who hasn't learned her fucking lesson... Alyssa Milano. We all know she's trying to to get back into the good graces of the sheeple, you know, uh, especially after she exposed herself for the fraud she is, you know. Um, but these people are just doing what they always do, you know. They virtue signal and moral posture us to fucking death. But the real story here is that as an intelligent species, the human race is in fucking trouble, okay? Shouldn't people know better? I mean, really, man. Uh, you know, apparently not. Then Trump says he was being sarcastic. Maybe he was. I'm not so sure about that, but it could be, you know. Then people didn't appreciate his sarcasm. Listen, man, I spent 13 years in the Army. Sarcasm is like my second language. Um, I wasn't affected by it either way, but I get the outrage, you know. I'll cut the people some slack for reacting the way they did after they heard that shit but who the fuck are these jerk offs who spent the past year and a half eating tide pods man snorting condoms jumping out of running cars doing a fucking dance who are these people to be talking man you know not my president are you fucking kidding me he's very much your fucking president you know man especially you assholes who always come up with some retarded challenge man putting everybody's life at fucking risk and you're talking that this guy who may or may not have told us to drink bleach, fucking Lysol, is in your fucking president? He's very much your fucking guy. And how are some of you with half a brain even surprised, man? How are you even surprised that these animals are consuming cleaning products? The way the media portrays it, it seems like the president was telling people to do it. But that's not the case. So, no, you know, we... We gotta stop blaming him for how dumb and fucking retarded everybody is, man. Now the media is scrambling to tell the country not to consume disinfectants, you know. First they tell you to do it and blame it on Trump. Then they go crazy telling you not to listen to him. You see what's going on here? They, they created the story, caused mass hysteria, and now they're playing the fucking hero. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Uh... Let's let's read an email here. Okay, this one comes from Quarantine Cutie. Rational Rage is officially my new favorite show. I just listen to all three of your episodes, and all I have to say is keep them coming. When I listen to you, I picture an Italian gangster in one of those movies my ex used to watch all the time. He would try so hard to act like them, but you sound like the real deal. That voice. P.S. Any recommendations as I Netflix and chill all alone? Wow, okay. First of all, thank you for listening, and thank you for this email. Um, I hope I can make a similar impression on others as I've made on you. Uh, you know, but there's a reason why that jerk-off is your ex. He's a fucking poser. Forget about him. 
Anyways, I'm not Italian and I never was affiliated in any way with the mob. Some people may consider the U.S. Army a gang. If so, then I was a part of the biggest one. As far as recommendations, I recommend you keep listening to my show, of course. I mean, you know, by, by default. Uh, I'm not going to recommend any gangster films, but you should definitely binge watch Money Heist fucking excellent series um you know maybe i'll start doing movie reviews since everyone is on lockdown let's see the next one is from moises sandoval a friend of the nfo podcast and definitely a friend of the rational rage hello spiro i love your new youtube channel rants keep up the good work i've been listening to a lot of rage against the machine and they were on point in the 90s everybody go back and listen to the first album they are dropping serious knowledge on that ass. Here's a song lyric that rings true. If we don't take action now, we'll settle for nothing later. Settle for nothing now, we'll settle for nothing later. If we don't take action now, we'll settle for nothing later. Settle for nothing now, and we'll settle for nothing later. Peace out, homeboy. All right, homeboy88, a.k.a. Moises Sandoval. Brother, thank you for the continuing support. You are much appreciated. Um, I'm a huge Rage Against the Machine fan. A few other songs are in my Prepare for War playlist. Um, I agree. They were definitely dropping serious knowledge. And I also agree with the lyrics. But part of the problem is that we've become so complacent, man. Um, we have so many distractions in this country. And the biggest one is constantly resting in the palms of our hands. And in our faces, man, 24-7. We waste this great technology on stupid shit. We've been given the power to create content and share with the world. It's a power that's being misused by so many. For every rational rage or conspiracy horseman. By the way, that's a, another podcast people should be checking out. Um, there's some jerk off setting his balls on fire, okay? Or there's some fucking cat video or some stupid challenge that's fucking trending. But the worst, man, in, in my opinion, the worst are those who can't set their personal biases aside and refuse to speak the truth. All right? People don't know the fucking truth anymore. Okay, We don't. Is there really any objective reporting these days? No. Everything is a narrative. Everything is political. Everyone has a statement to make and you're either with them or you're against them. There's no acceptable difference of opinions anymore. Maybe part of the problem is that we've eliminated the possibility of getting punched in the fucking face. You know, not that disagreement should lead to a physical altercation, but some of you have gotten pretty brave and ballsy with your comments. You know, the type of comments a lot of you motherfuckers don't have the balls to make to anyone's face. What do you guys think? Has social media made men out of mice? Let me know at rationalrage.mailbag at gmail.com. That's rationalrage mailbag at gmail.com ladies and gentlemen as a species we are most definitely regressing it's like with every generation of new tech the human being becomes a little more obsolete it really shows on, on social media it's like all the technology that has come out in the last 35 or so years was designed to make us dumber and when you couple that with the media and how they spin their tails we've become a bunch of drooling idiots we believe whatever these jerk-offs in the media tell us. I'll admit it, man. I, I fall for it too from time to time. You know, they play in our emotions, our personal beliefs and ideals. But some of us come to our senses and we ask questions. We do research. The problem is that once we find an answer that aligns with that narrative that I was talking about earlier, the, that narrative that we're subscribed and married to, we stop asking questions. That happens because it was never about finding the fucking truth. It was about validating ourselves regardless of the facts. People just want to be right. People want what they believe in to be true. Okay? You know, you can smack somebody across the face with evidence. But it's like this tribe mentality, man. It's like, you know, if you're a Republican, there's no way... You can see anything coming from the left. There's no way you can agree with anything coming from that side. Same thing on the left, you know. At what point do we just fucking shoot ourselves in the fucking head? Okay? Because we've become mindless drones. We've become mindless cultists. Okay? 
you know, I just try to look at things rationally and I try to use some common sense, whatever the fuck that means these days. I don't know. Doesn't mean I'm right, okay? I'm just sharing my my opinions. If you disagree with me, that's fine. You know, you want to talk about it, send your emails to rationalrage.mailbag at gmail.com. Before I cut out, I'm going to read some emails here that that I missed. Again, from Homeboy88. Keep coming out with new shows. I will listen to them. Great points of view on the world, Spiro. Got another one here. What's up, Spiro? I just heard your two podcasts, and I really like the Stay at Home podcast. I totally agree with you that both parties are corrupt. It really sucks because there's nobody that all you really can't get behind to vote for. I know that people like Trump, and they think he's on the good team, but come on. He's a fucking billionaire real estate mogul. Yeah, hey, man, I totally... I totally agree with you, you know, man, um, I never said he, his hands are fucking clean, because they're definitely not, I don't trust everything he says, I don't buy it, but I think that he's the guy the country needs right now, not so much because he's a fucking great leader or, you know, anything like that, but we need to get slapped in the face with fucking reality, man, you know, we probably need to break down and rebuild, and get back to fucking basics but i don't know if that's the answer because people have like we said man people have been so dumbed down within the last 40 or so years all right i I don't know anyways uh i know that people like trump uh he's a fucking billionaire real estate mogul who came from money and has been racist in the past i love the harlem five saying those black kids should have gotten the death penalty <clears throat> and they were fucking innocent. Yeah, yes, they were proven to be innocent. Um, they did a fucking a DNA test and all that. He called them black. The black kids. I, I think, I think one of them was Hispanic. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were all black. That's not, you know, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but that's there's nothing really racist there. Maybe there was a racist sentiment to it, but I don't know. When it comes to fucking racism, you know, it's like, what is it, though, these days? All right? It's like, somebody has a racist thought about me. In all honesty, it's not my fucking problem. I don't agree with it. But, you know, that's that. You know, um, I'll definitely touch on racism a lot more in in another episode. Uh, What else? He doesn't care about the little guy. Uh, maybe not, man. You know, maybe not. But he's been good up to this point, I think. Just because he's not the most refined human being and he's a bit of a sleaze bag and all this and that. Listen, man, at the end of the day, man, he's not taking shit from anybody, all right? The fucking economy did, did get better. You know, I'm not a fucking economical expert. Some would argue that it's because of what Obama did. I don't know, man, you know. Um, He only cares about Trump. And the Democrats are just as corrupt with the Clintons and how they fucked over Bernie Sanders. Yeah, man, absolutely. And something that shocks me about that is that most people were riding hard for fucking Bernie Sanders, man. They were do or die. And, you know, in plain sight, they screwed him over not once, but fucking twice. Bernie Sanders got fucked over twice, all right? And Bernie Sanders, I think that a lot of people, you know, a lot of people misunderstand because the media, and and, and the funny thing about Bernie Sanders is that both the liberal and the conservative media made shit up about him. Not that there isn't some truths, you know, there's that scandal about his wife and the guy's a fucking millionaire. But he actually had some good ideas about funding a lot of this stuff that everybody was saying was going to be free, you know. But I think that Bernie also realized that 
the fucking bankers and the guys on Wall Street and all these other people weren't going to allow him to bring his plan to fruition. I'm not saying that I, I would have supported or fucking endorsed him. I think he had a few good ideas and the medium made him out to be the free guy. Anyways, uh, you also asked what I've been doing during the quarantine. I've been listening to a lot of Rage Against the Machine playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which takes place in Greece, by the way, and watching Star Wars films. Anyways, peace out, homeboy. I'll be waiting for the next show. Once again, brother, thank you, man. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the emails. Yeah, I've been doing some gaming myself, too. I've been playing Call of Duty with my sons, my brother. I haven't had the chance to play Assassin's Creed yet. Uh, it looks great. As far as Star Wars, I've been watching Clone Wars, and as you know, Every Tuesday night, I record the New Force Order podcast with Greek God Papa Don and Dr. Destroyo Alex Arroyo, who's out there in the front lines fighting the coronavirus. Um, as you know, I'm also a photographer. I haven't been doing any photography lately, but you know, I'm still doing my uh, photo editing, my graphic designing. So I'm staying busy, man. I'm staying busy with a, a lot of shit, you know. Uh, I got my family here. We, you know, do do our thing. That's about it, man, you know. Uh, you know, the main focus for everybody right now, I think, is to just keep their mind busy. Because once they stop, they start thinking. And once they start thinking, man, that's it, you know. But listen, man, again, thank you. And thank you to everybody that's tuning in. Thank you, everybody that's supporting the channel. Don't forget, on YouTube, we are under Handsome Reaper TV. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications, like and share. Uh, I'm also on Podbean. What else? Uh, Facebook, Rational Rage. Uh, and that's it. Hey guys, stay safe, stay alert, stay alive. Rational Rage over and out.